Materials for Making Kitchen Equipment It is a bright sunny morning. Jim's birthday party yesterday was superb and his mother even allowed some music for the guests. Jim is holding a bowl with water and remembers his mother's statement about plastics yesterday. He heads straight to the kitchen where he finds his mom making breakfast. Hey, there you are. Morning, mom. Morning. Did you have a great night? Yeah. Um, you said you'd talk about plastics and uh, many more. Guess this is the right time since I won't be available in the afternoon. Paul and I are going for a swim. Oh my, it's been a decade. All right, all right. I know you love swimming. Sit down then. The materials commonly used in making kitchen utensils include plastics, metals, wood, glass, earthenware, and plant matter. What? Plant matter? Yep. For making calabashes and gourds. So where do we begin? Start with the water I'm holding in my hand right now. Oh, plastic. All right. Plastics are synthetic materials made from natural substances such as coal, oil, casein, and cotton. They are used to make cups, spoons, plates, and so on. I didn't know they can be made from cotton. The more reason you should get an A grade in school. Anyway, plastics are of two categories. Thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Hmm. Thermoplastics soften when heated without losing its shape. And these examples include acrylics, silicon, and polyvinyl chloride. PVC, you mean? Yeah. Thermosetting plastics, on the other hand, change their shape permanently when exposed to heat. They include phenolic and melamine. Melanin. No, melamine. Unless you have a hearing problem. Always avoid bending plastics, something which you're doing right now. Sorry. You better be. Avoid poking plastics with sharp objects, strong washing abrasives, or contact with open flame. Makes sense. Instead, use metallic utensils on open fire, right? Yes, but since metals differ in type, some are useful for making utensils, while others are simply for decoration. Ornamental metals include gold, brass, silver, while the functional ones include stainless steel, iron, aluminium, and enamel, most of which will form part of our discussion. Do you mind naming some kitchen utensils made from metals? That's easy. Knives, mm -hmm. spoons, mm -hmm. pans, blades, sufurias, buckets, blah, blah, blah. Slow down. I know you know them. And they all need to be washed according to the material and stored appropriately. Pass me that cooking stick. Here. It's wooden. I can see that too. Wood is a popular material used in most homes. It is relatively easy to clean and cheap. From wood, we make items such as pastry and chopping boards, rolling pins, knife handles, sugar dishes, and so on. Oh, and the cooking spoons, of course. Yep. Wood is either hard or soft and can be finished in different ways to make plain wood, polished wood, varnished, laminated, and stained wood. Please refer to this chart for more information mm. on the uses of these kinds of woods. Also, refer back to the ways of cleaning different surfaces in the house for more information as well. Hope you have not forgotten. Oh, that's a lot of referring. No, I have not forgotten. Then help me with the items that are made from glass. Okay. Several. We have water tumblers. Uh -huh. Plates. Mm -hmm. uh, bottles. Casseroles. And so on. Great. And when common sense prevails, care for glasses by avoiding sharp knocks and blows, extreme temperatures, abrasives, as well as placing tumblers inside each other. Or oh, they will break. 
I guess they need to be stored carefully to prevent that breakage. The same thing you do to earthenware or ceramics, which have a fancier name, China. Ceramics are products of baked clay and include items such as cups, saucers, bowls, serving dishes, dinner plates, as well as ornaments. Generally, these ceramics are made of glazed clay, stoneware, bone china, or porcelain. And which one is specifically for making ornaments? That would be porcelain. You can as well use plant materials. Like uh, the ones used to make calabashes? Yep. Calabashes and gourds are obtained from a creeping plant that produces a hard-shelled fruit. These items can be used for storing and serving fluids as well as for decoration. Oh yeah, since calabashes are inexpensive or cheap, I would be glad if I had one for serving uji. Don't worry, I'll buy some when I go to the market this afternoon. But keep in mind, all kitchen equipment need precautionary measures, regardless of the material they are made of. Hmm. And which are these precautionary measures? I'll tell you after you finish your breakfast. All right.